Hello viewers, hope you are all doing well. Uh, first of all, I'm going to talk about uh, this. Uh, you can see here in the video, this is something called sphygmomanometer or the BP apparatus. Uh, what is the difference between this apparatus and the other apparatus which we uh, use for the BP measurement? So this is something we use it for the manual uh, blood pressure measurement and the other one is called auto. So you just put on uh, the BP cuff and just start and push the button and it works on but here there is something different so I'm going to talk about how to use it but before we go for the use I will show you the parts of this pignomanometer so viewers this is manual BP apparatus or medically known as uh, sphygmomanometer so here I'll show you uh, what are the parts there so that you can be familiar with it so first of all I'll let you know this is the button by piece of clicking this you can click uh, open the sphygmomanometer right so when you just open it you will see certain things inside uh, so viewers after opening uh, this sphygmomanometer you will see certain parts in this apparatus machine so first of all this is something called a uh, stethoscope right so by the help of the stethoscope you can uh, feel the pulse actually which is known as systolic or diastolic yep. all right and this is called something uh, pressure bulb which is used for inflating the bp cuff so later on i will show you guys how to use it but first of all let me just have a quick review about the parts of this phenomenometer this is called uh, uh, BP cuff right so in this BP cuff you can see you can open it and see like this so this is something which is already mounted the stethoscope on the BP cuff already but usually what happens that the stethoscope comes uh, separately with this but here is something good that it's already mounted on the BP cuff so it's quite easy to adjust and guys uh, at the end you will see the part of the mercury this is called mercury meter right so here are the numbers already given on this meter you can see and later on in this video i will also let you know that how to read this meter or how to uh, uh, measure your blood pressure by the help of this mercury so viewers now uh, i'm going to show you how to use this bp apparatus so as i just mentioned the parts earlier in this video so now i'm going to demonstrate it so just kindly have a look this is the bp cuff make sure the stethoscope comes down why because you will uh, put this stethoscope on the brachial pulse so that you can feel the sound so this is very important to put uh, to place this stethoscope in the right place Now wrap it around, make sure there are no wrinkles, nothing and they are all tidy. Uh, so viewers, after placing the cuff in the right position, as you can see on the hand, and secondly, this is stethoscope called something earphone, you can put this in your ears, right, in order to feel the sound. Guys, one important point which I just wanted to mention here. Uh, with this pressure bulb this is called valve so make sure that before you inflate uh, close the valve properly and there is one another valve I'm just going to talk about and it is in the sphygma monometer itself so in just in order to push the mercury up make sure this is now closed so once it's this way here so then this uh, BP cuff will work properly So now it's time to inflate the BP and let's check that how we can do this. All right. So once you are inflating it, make sure you should keep an eye on the sphygmomanometer itself as well, the mercury meter I mean. So you should not inflate more than that. So you can just check here guys that usually will go with up to 200, right? So if on the 200 you are not able to feel the systolic pressure, then then you later on you can go up to 220 or as per desired uh, pressure. 
so guys just look at here i just came here over up to 200 and i will stop here so you will see this valve now this is very important so in this mercury you can see my uh, scale is on 200 now you can see the mercury level is on 200 200 millimeter of mercury so now slowly when you start releasing this valve anti-clockwise so you will feel the sound of leakage air so that's not exactly the leakage actually so you will see how to do this so make it very slowly very gentle so keep coming down keep coming down all right now before we go ahead guys i would like to mention one more point here right that when you once you have inflated the bp cuff you can check the uh, systolic pressure by two ways either by the mercury meter with the uh, stethoscope by the help of stethoscope or sometimes if the stethoscope is not working so the best way is to uh, put the, these two fingers here on the radial pulse and uh, just feel when it starts palpating so that is the systolic pressure for you so now i'll just bring it closer just in order to make you understand that how it's gonna work So I'm slowly, slowly coming down. So guys, once you start uh, feeling the first sound, so notice here, you will feel the mercury heal also. It will also pulsate here, the mercury. You can feel it here or you can see in the video live here. Right, this is uh, called systolic pressure. Right, then slowly, slowly, if you keep releasing this valve anti clockwise, so you will see that the mercury will come down. So, this sound will continue until it finishes. So, when it stops, this when you stop, when you are unable to feel this sound, that is called the diastolic pressure. So once you have this reading, you can anti-clock, re uh, release this valve by anti-clock and that's all about. Okay, uh, guys, one thing which I forgot in this video, uh, I would like to mention here one thing uh, very important that uh, as you can see the arm, there is no sleeve. So make sure that when you are measuring the blood pressure by the BP cuff or any digital machine, so make sure that the, the arm is sleeveless, right? If it is sleeveless, you can have the accurate reading of the blood pressure machine. Uh, so viewers, now uh, at the end, I would like to uh, uh, mention one thing uh, also here that uh, how to remove the things. It's quite easy. Anyone can do it. You can also do it. So this is a BP cup. First of all, make sure you have released all the air from it by means of rotating this valve anti-clockwise. Then after that, it's really easy. Just make sure this is how you remove the BP cuff. Once you remove the BP cuff, right, just try to uh, wrap this like in this way and try to just push it so that you can release all the airs in order to bring this mercury level to the zero. As you can see in the sphygmomanometer, the mercury level is now on the zero. So this is good. You can place the BP cuff inside the tubing as well. As well as the pressure bulb and then in the end you can place the stethoscope inside the sphygmomanometer apparatus machine so it's quite easy just close this flap and you hear the click sound so it's logged now Viewers, don't forget to subscribe Pharmacist Online and please click the bell icon and stay safe, stay healthy.